Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can assess large classes of students either online or face-to-face. -face. What I'll show you is how you can set quizzes for these large classes and the quizzes will be auto-graded so that your job as a teacher will be much easier and your students will get their score results much faster. So as a teacher, you're going to need a computer with internet access. Your students will need a mobile phone or a tablet. And you'll need access to a free digital tool called Socrative. Today, for the focuses of this tutorial, I'm only going to look at multiple choice and true-false type questions in the quizzes because these are the easiest ones to create and they're very useful. So let's get started. First, create and log into your teacher's account by going to Socrative.com. Click on Teacher and enter your login details. Then you're going to share a quiz with your students. In a separate YouTube video, I'll show you how you can create a quiz. Just scroll down to the description below for more details. I've already pre-prepared a quiz, so I'm going to select launch and then quiz and select a quiz for the students and then click next. Then I'm going to ask them to require their names and then show, I'm not going to show question feedback because I don't want them to have the answers after they've sent their answers. Then I'm going to show the final score so they get their score straight away. And this is the quiz. Make sure that you copy the room number at the top and give that to your students. I'm going to log in as a student now. Go to Socrative Student and then enter my details. So the room name which I gave you earlier and then enter a name. I'm going to call myself Boy. And then you can click on Zoom to read the question. To enlarge it, it's useful if students have small screens, they can zoom in on a picture of a text. And I'm going to do some answer, some random questions, getting some right and some wrong. Uh, Socrative allows you to do multiple choice, true, false, and short answer. I've skipped short answer for now because those are a bit more difficult to set up. Once I've completed all of the quiz questions, there are 10. I'm going to submit my answer. And as you can see on the screen, the student score shows up. So they got their score straight away. They don't have to wait for the teacher to grade it. It's all done automatically. This is now the teacher's view. You can see the students' names and scores. You can also choose to hide the students' names. And if you click on show answers, you can see the red marks show the wrong answers. And you can explain those again to the students. If you click on reports on the right hand side, you can save it as the scores as an Excel file by clicking on download. And the scores should download as an Excel file on the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Once you see the Excel file, click on it and you should be able to see you have a record of student scores. If you found this video useful, please click like and subscribe for more free videos. Thank you for watching.